before we begin, just want to show you all my four racks. Put them in the dishwasher. Perfectly clean. No problem at all. In fact, I did a one hour wash when I washed these. With other things, of course, in my dishwasher. Just one hour, not even a full, whatever, however long it is. Just wanted to show you. And also a quick update. Warm, I didn't put any solution in here yet inside. I just used warm water or almost hot water in a rag and it got out everything. So, I mean, you really don't have to spray anything on here. Whatever this surface is made out of, stuff just flies right off of it. So, you could just use that to be safe. But I'll update you later on on that. What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my 10 quart Power XL Vortex QVC exclusive air fryer oven. Today we're gonna use this muffin pan and we're gonna make some breakfast. I right, got four eggs out. Let me take my eggs out and put some salt down here. And a little bit of pepper. Just to the front too. Because I know some of y'all like it like this. Some more salt on the top and pepper. And some of you guys like it beaten. equal amounts there we go feel free to dress it up however you want you could throw some bacon uh, pieces in there maybe some cheese whatever you want I love cinnamon raisin bagels but I know some of you guys like plain so we'll do plain today you guys real quick make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell it's not plain you know what it is Got some garlic butter action. Remember the bacon I made the other day? Well, I'm going to put them in there to warm up. Alright. And you guess right, guys. We're going to do all this at the same time. Alright, so I'm going to put this, the second slot from the top. Nice and good. I'm gonna put my eggs right under it. And of course, we're gonna have to switch and get it in right. And I love that this tray can just go in by itself. You don't have to put a rack. In other machines that I've had, you would have to put the rack and then put the tray on top of the rack. I liked how that just fits in. That's cool. All right. All right, guys. You see this button right here? I believe that's bagel. I don't think that's an egg. I think that was a misprint in the manual. I think this is bagel. So I'm going to hit that. That's 350 and it's for three minutes. I'll let you see the three minutes. I'm going to increase it to six. I may even need seven because we're doing the eggs. I know the eggs usually take about seven minutes or so. But we'll see. All right, let me turn on my light. Set timer for three minutes. Three minutes, starting now. Oh, this is cooking nicely. So we're going to rotate. We're at the three-minute mark. I'm going to rotate. All right, guys, got them rotated, so we're just waiting for the eggs to be finished. All right, guys, we are done. I just added one minute, so we did a total of seven minutes. So three for the bagels and four uh, for the eggs. This is what we're looking like, guys. Seven minutes. If I was really smart, guys, I would have added the cheese when I rotated the rack. My bad. No worries, though. That was about 45 seconds. All good. 
some of you want to know probably how easy these come out it should come out, I sprayed it sorry I know I'm using a plastic fork guys, sorry yep, pretty easy let's get the edges as I would imagine and then just let it go up just like that Shout out to the viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. This is what we have, guys. You still have one, like, fried egg left over. You saw the paper towel go up, so you know what that means. It's time to eat. Let's take a look at this, guys. This could be you. I added one slice of cheese. You could add three if you like. <laughs> anyway, you first. You got it? Mm-hmm. Seven minutes of your time. Mm. Take one more bite with me. Mm. I know some of y'all don't like runny eggs. I'm sorry. But it is what it is. I know it's probably half and half. It's all good. I would say runny eggs is my least favorite, but I love all eggs. However it comes. Doesn't matter. I eat it all. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's dive in. And remember, this has been sitting out for, I don't know, like five minutes while I was preparing. So... Now, if I had some biscuits or something to sop all of this up, that would be really good. But, I want some of you guys to try it. If I can get a piece to come out. You first. You got it? Like it's supposed to. You know what? I'm going to have to do it because I don't have any bread. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. That's good. But just wanted to show you it was runny. Have some avocado with me and by the way this is fresh avocado this is when I bought home from um, well I bought several home but this is one um, homegrown from my mom's house parents house you first you got it <laughs> it's so good and there's a difference between homegrown avocados and the avocados that I get at my market um, not saying that they're nasty, but there is a, a big difference in freshness. And finally, guys. You you go just go ahead. Mm hmm Well that was fun guys. And shout out to all my viewers and subscribers that have some sort of an air fryer oven. I'm just doing these videos for you guys to give you, um, you know, a different look on how to cook things in the machine from, you know, my take. So, um, if you're interested in this machine, check out QVC. Um, this is a QVC exclusive, the one exactly that I have. 
They still don't sell on Amazon as yet. They have other 10 quarts, but it's not, the insides is not the same. But, anywho, and I'm also, I also have a playlist, and I'll put a link into the description. I think this is like my fourth or fifth video on this um, air fryer oven, but I'll put the playlist in the description as well, so um, just in case you missed any, you can check it out. And finally, if you have this air fryer oven or any air fryer, uh, we'd love to see what you're making in your air fryer in my Facebook group. We have over 63,000 members in there. Come in there and share what you're making. Or do a search and get recipes. Also, guys, if you have Instagram, look me up at Instagram Cooking with Doug. Um, but that's all I got. So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug.